classic car shows are some of the most watched shows among car enthusiasts and aficionados. And why not? On these shows, you get to see the most unique vehicles ever, and they are reminiscent of a time when cars were made with so much love. Some people even watch these shows and see some vehicles they had in their childhood, which is highly nostalgic. However, one of the biggest draws for these shows is that they usually feature cars that need some serious, tender-loving care after years of neglect. Some passionate mechanics on these shows normally swoop in just like superheroes to transform the vehicles from rusty hunks of nothing but metal into some of the most beautiful cars you will ever see. One of the most popular car shows is Chasing Classic Cars, which premiered on the Motor Trend channel in 2008. The show's draw was towards classic car enthusiasts, and it features Wayne Carini as the host. He chronicles his passion and love for classic car restorations, and looks at classic cars from all eras. It also focuses on finding and getting the cars running, which often presents the option of selling them at a much higher price. One of the best features of this show, as per the number of viewers tuning in, is that the restorations can sometimes be expensive, which means that the restoration is not financially profitable, which gives it a more authentic vibe. Of course, we cannot talk about this show without mentioning Wayne's great friend, Roger Barr, a host of the show. They are childhood friends, and they have been friends since they were 10 years old. The two have shared a great love for the industry, and they started in Connecticut, where their dads owned automotive garages. The story has it that when Roger's dad was fixing a car and needed bodywork, he would bring in Carini's dad, and when Carini's dad needed mechanical work, he would take it to Roger's dad's shop. It was a solid foundation for one of the greatest relationships on television. This built them, and in the years that followed, they were able to work together on the show. Wayne continued his restoration work, which eventually caught some producers' attention, and that is how his journey to chasing classic cars started. He is ultimately the force behind the show and its success. Just one look at him, and he could have easily been in any Hollywood fictional drama show. Wayne looks the character, and he really knows his classic cars inside and out. He has got more than 152 episodes under his belt, and by far he has the most screen time. Over the years, he has been able to acquire plenty of knowledge in automobiles, and he has also been able to share his information with his audience in an easily digestible way, which even novices can get. Was it almost cancelled? Yes. However, it is still on the air. They have not flopped, and it still enjoys a great deal of success, and it is quite possibly the longest-running car show on TV today, next to Wheeler Dealers. You can watch this show in over 40 countries from all over the world. This was, however, not always the case. There were a few years where the future of the show was a little in jeopardy for a while, and there was even a question of whether the show should have continued or not. Now, unlike most other shows, this one took almost eight years before it gained popularity. This comes as a huge surprise. I know for the many fans because this show has a large and dedicated fan base now. The way it is right now, you would think that it has had high ratings from the beginning, but that is just not the case. The show did not connect with audiences as the producers had anticipated. Of course, when a new show premieres, it takes some time for it to catch on. In this case, the producers, writers, and hosts have to take their time finding their groove. We have all seen this. Think back to a show like Seinfeld that took four years to catch on. When such shows catch on, you really have to go back and watch the original episodes, and they sometimes have a cringe level. This is actually how most shows start. Chasing classic cars to eight seasons before it was able to develop a decent and committed following. Before then, the viewership was extremely low, and the ratings were not spectacular at all. During this time, there was plenty of talks about cancelling the show, but the producers knew that there was something about the show that viewers would finally come to appreciate. They were not wrong. Now, 16 seasons later, this is one of the biggest car shows on TV, and it keeps growing stronger than ever. It took a toll on F40 Motorsports and on Wayne Carini. Anyone that watches Chasing Classic Cars knows that he is all about showing the real parts of his business. He is just not into drama or fame. Rather, he is all about showing the world his passion. There is something about being on TV that viewers do not think about. It seems incredible, but it's a job in itself, and when you are already running a business, then you just add a camera crew and production team in the mix to form a TV show. You are just adding an entire second job and spending time establishing a shop. This is what he has been doing all these years. Carini was in his groove when he was running his business, and it was incredible work to manage. He now has to contend with cameras all over the place 
and directors who would rather bark orders at you. Imagine how hard it was for him to keep going for eight years as the ratings were below average. But he kept going until they could pick up. It must have been quite stressful for him trying to run his own business and at the same time working at pleasing the network bigwigs. This started to tear at him and the incredibly long working hours put into making the show must have affected him. Well, the best part of this story is that after giving it eight years, the hard work finally paid off and before he knew it, it was the most popular car show on TV. Roger Barr, his friend and co-host, had to leave the show in season 15. The fans loved him and they kept wondering what had happened to him. Various rumors emerged that he had even died, but that was not true. He had suffered an accident at work, which caused him to rethink the long working hours and decided to concentrate on his simple shop at home. He is a legendary mechanic and he is an inspiration, not only because he worked hard, but due of his long history with his friend Wayne. Controversies about the show A lot of stuff, however, came out as a result of his absence from the show, such as the fact that he was never paid for his time on the show, and this was never understood whether he wanted it that way or the network decided just to use him for his services. However, this lack of pay led him to his medical issues, as the treatment for the injury was way too expensive for him to cover. Luckily, his fan base, which had grown quite a lot, created a GoFundMe account to raise money for his hospital bills. Most people disagreed with how he was handled. There was definitely something wrong with the way they did not help him get medical treatment. He was pretty much left on his own. In the end, the show just pressed forward and continued to earn acclaim and praise from the viewers. The cars are still being restored for different clients, but Wayne Carini is doing it by himself. Roger Barr is currently living in New England together with his wife, Sally Barr. He is still working as a mechanic in his shop, and as of June 8, 2020, he announced in his Facebook account that he would be working in a car restoration shop, The Paddock, in Connecticut. Which cast member died? Jim Ostrowski. He was the man behind the scenes on almost all episodes. He never appears in front of the camera as the others, but he was a big part of the success of this show. He created and directed over 120 episodes, which is roughly two-thirds of the show. He was also able to keep the show in its documentary-like quality and ensures that the show does not become too far-fetched or outrageous. Unfortunately, in 2007, we lost Jim. He succumbed to cancer, but his work set the stage for the continued success of the show. That's it for this video about chasing classic cars. If you haven't already, please leave a thumbs up for this video and be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn the notifications on by clicking on the bell so you can be notified whenever we put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in the next video.